hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel if it's your first time here hello if you're familiar with my channel i used to make some instrumentals for fav um for for fa famous artists songs uh but i've also had an interest in music production so today i'm gonna teach you how to sample by using a garage band so okay oopsie <laughs> uh we're gonna have to start fresh because i already um i already recorded the first version but it, it got crammed up so don't say but let's start fresh okay that's what that's what i want so today i'm gonna teach you how to sample any sound or any piece of music maybe you want to sample a song and i'm gonna teach you those for those beginners i'm not an expert in any way i'm a novice i'm a noob and i'm just showing you what i know what i've learned through playing around with this doll so this is a very brand new garage band version i only had updated this recently so i'm kind of getting used to it but we're going to learn along the way so what you want to start with is an empty project don't select ringtone songwriter voice none of that go to empty project and select and choose we're gonna load and we're gonna have a brand new interface just fresh you're gonna select audio input okay okay we're gonna turn off the feedback and just give it a little balance here so today we're going to sample loletta holloway's vocals she is the lady that you hear in the song right on time you know that famous song Whoa! you know she's the same lady's you know voice sample that you can hear in Wizkid's song called essence so i'm gonna teach you how they do it okay because we keep wondering how do these people do this stuff so i'm gonna teach you today okay now your you what you want to do is go to the media browser and select the acapella instrument make sure you have the acapella because it's way better to have the acapella than having the whole song and then now you have to worry about the song that is playing in the background so what you want to have is the acapella version or if you're sampling the instrumental you want to have the instrumental only but this is going to be dependent on if you want to sample the instruments only or maybe you want to sample the voice only if it's a voice make sure you have the acapella version if it's the instrumental you want to have the instrumental but sometimes singers or maybe like famous soul samplers like Kanye West back in the 2000s they would literally just take the whole song and just cut the samples out of it so we're gonna select her um we're gonna look for her name here oh there she is this is the full um acapella version of her song and i'm sure people uploaded it because a lot of people are trying to figure out how to sample around so this is gonna be a new version of you know what we're doing here we're gonna drag it here and just squeeze this in so what you want to do when you're sampling is making sure that you know places to sample and in this case for today's tutorial we're going to sample the part that she starts to sing Whoa! so you want to play this song to make sure you figure out the place that you want to sample so in this case we're going to start to play sorry let me get rid of this metronome i keep forgetting about her okay the good thing about this song or well this a cappella version it has all these silent zones that you really do not have to start tweaking all the time and making sure it stays at the right fit so this this region is the one that we want to sample uh, so what you're gonna do is this looping tool is going to be so important in the whole process because it's going to help you map out where exactly you need to cut where you need to split 
so that you don't split in areas that you don't have to split so we're gonna drag this bad boy here we're gonna start sampling at 9 and probably ending it somewhere here just to get the initial sample so you want to align it here from the beginning of the loop to the end of the loop line here okay so what I'm gonna do is press command is a command T hold up I have to use okay it's command T you're gonna use command T to split these areas because we simply want to sample this region so you're gonna press command T it's gonna split you're gonna take this here notice I'm using the beginning and the end of the loop to just kind of give me a sketch of where I need to cut command T or you can just simply go here and say split regions at playhead we're going to delete everything else that we have recorded uh, that is a present here and we're going to drag it here we're going to drag the sample here as well the loop sorry so we're going to start playing as you can see we have a pretty clear sample this is the only part that we want and this is the part that we got but we don't want the silence because once you're sampling and playing the instruments, you want the re you want the what do they call it? You want it to snap. You don't want it to delay. We don't want that delay, so we have to get rid of that delay. The silence is causing much delay. Maybe we're gonna drag it. We're gonna shave it to here and just move. And let's play. Oh! Perfect. We're also going to drag. So. I preferably advise you to use this bottom region here uh, you can pretty much see everything that you're doing so we're just gonna drag it to here preferably and we're gonna keep dragging this to here bingo we're gonna just keep dragging and tweaking it around until you get the perfect fit So we got rid of the beginning and the end, all of the breaths, we have got rid of them and we only have a clear vocal sample. So what you're going to do after this, you're going to uh, have to tweak other things. Maybe you want to spice it up a little bit, maybe add a little reverb maybe, sorry. So in order to remove the controls, you can press B, B to make it disappear, B to make it there. Uh, turn on the compressor. Give it a little, maybe gain. Let's give it a gain, just a little gain. Not a, like a big, gigantic gain. Like, whoa, 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 that's a little loud. Around five. Five is enough. Um give it a little ambience as well I think that is perfect okay now what we're gonna do in order to start sampling is save this save this share it to song share, share song to iTunes we're gonna select that and we're gonna give it a title just for us to be able to know what we're dealing with I already created the first file so in order to avoid conclusion confusion I'm gonna name it as lol2 we're not gonna name the artist it's really not that important we just need to know which file which file you know well, the file name and what you're going to do is also select export cycle area only because we do not want the other area this is all that is going to be exported if we did not select this it's, it was going to play this part and then just play the entire time zone and we don't want that so we're gonna share there you go play okay bingo so what we want to do is go to recently added see those recently added sounds in garage band you're gonna take the brand new sound that you made drag it into your desktop screen so that we can start making our little magic okay so we're going to just delete everything here delete and we're gonna start fresh again so for this part because we're sampling you want to start with a software instrument and create there you have a classic electric piano this is what we have playing but we want her voice to be playing here instead so what we're going to do is go down here 
to this con to the control place and we want to select our sampler now it could be mono it could be stereo let's make it to mono okay mono and then this one is gonna pop, pop up just straight away it doesn't waste any time okay <laughs> so what we want to do here is show the editor this is uh, you know the whole place where the, you know oh sorry desktop too okay sorry you know i had a little issue here we're just gonna bring this back up okay now uh i'm okay so what we're gonna do what we want is to sample a letter Hathaway's voice Holloway sorry what you're gonna do is choose file go to here you know you have these layers in the zones you're gonna say choose file here choose file and whoop all of these are things that I've done already you want to go to desktop because this way we saved our file oh it's a little loud up in there okay there you go. We're gonna bring this. <laughs> so, do you see what happened? The moment we loaded this sample in here, we were able to play her voice samples in this keyboard. Now, for other instances when you're sampling, you may not want to have a whole scale of the same voice playing at different notes. Maybe you want it. You want one voice sample at one place in order maybe to create a drum kit that you want. What you want to do at that moment is select the key range and the key range that you want your sample or your specific sample to be in. So maybe in this case you want it to be a C4. Uh, C4, let's go C4 and C4. You want to select it in the same range that where you want it to be C full and enter you see now it's just that C full why is the sign in here wait sorry oh sorry I need to select this okay once you enter this you're going to have the sample at one place it's going to be playing around C full sorry ah! The rest of the place is not gonna be playing because we got rid of the regions. To go back to normal, we're just going to select C1 and C9. Enter. Now we have the whole region filled out with the sample. So after you have this settled in here, you can go ahead and maybe tweak a thing or two in the instrument velocity do we want the you know the trigger to be keyed down volume panning panning you know left or right tuning you know all of these things you're gonna do all of the settings here we're gonna hide the editor and close this now we have our instrument we can give it a name uh, by selecting here and you're gonna name it for instance l o l v x right that's what we're gonna name it and maybe we can change the profile here maybe we don't want to do that exactly but yeah so what you're gonna do is load up we're gonna have to save it first because if we don't save this is just gonna fly away like frank sinatra flying to the moon okay so you're gonna go to lolfvfx vx sorry it's gonna be our instrument not output not audio it's going to be straight up instrument and we're going to save it but sometimes we want it to be in well sampler instruments you know but we do not want them there let's put them in instruments right and we're going to save it because it's easier to locate your file using that or you can do anything that you find fit so we're gonna save it here there she is so when I select window and let's say I don't want to use her as a sample I'm gonna go back to maybe uh, electronic piano I'm gonna go to white suitcase say continue because 
because I selected this now if we want to go back to what we created this is the one that we've created so that's how you do it so because you've saved it now it's by default it's just within our um, user patch library so this is how you create so you're going to record as usual you know you can do that and that's it that's how you sample by using the all sampler um how do they call it is it an audio <laughs> file or something like that an audio uh what it's a software processing tool that's how you use it if you see all sampler do not be scared especially for those newbies like me who started production do not be scared this is how you use it it's so helpful maybe you want to create your own drum kits maybe you've you know sometimes you cannot really afford to to buy those you know patches and kits so you can just simply make one for yourself by using this technique I'm going to go in depth on how to cut samples for drum kits probably or any sound that you want and probably I'm going to come up with a tutorial quite soon maybe due to popular demand hopefully so without further ado thank you so much for watching me and listening to me if you did not understand anything just comment down below and I'll make sure to be able to reply to you on time and with that thank you so much and stay blessed